Well, I've found a man who I think knows everything there is to know about this project. Steve Brown, Head of Transport and Environment for Shropshire Council. That's, that's right, isn't it? That's correct, Carl. That's quite a broad uh, portfolio is, to start with, isn't it? It is a broad uh, portfolio. So it's everything from the major sort of transport projects that the council's currently delivering. So this is one of them. We're currently uh, finishing off a project in Shrewsbury, which is the integrated uh, transport plan. We're looking at potentially other projects in, in, in Bridge North. And then we also do a lot of the policies and the strategies uh, that the council utilises to, to draw down funding. So we're currently developing the local transport plan for Shropshire, and we're currently developing the local cycling walking infrastructure plan for Shropshire, which will support walking and cycling and the integration of travel, which is quite sort of pertinent with um, the news of Active England being launched of course. in the last day or so. You're, you're a busy man. So, Absolutely. So tell us specifically then about this Schiffnell project. How long, when did it start and what's the overview? What's the main objectives? So the, the Schiffnell project has been sort of in development for, for many years now. So uh, its genesis really came from uh, a response to the housing development in the, in the town and also the issues to do with the town centre, issues to do with traffic, especially at, especially at junctions, and a concern from the community and Shifnal Town Council about the, how, we could, how we could address those. So we went through ver various iterations, various sort of planning, various drafting of uh, plans before we landed on the current project that we that we're currently uh, delivering and you can see you can see the, the level of activity uh, around us so we took a lot of care to make sure that we work with our partners Shifnal Town Council and uh, Shifnal Town Council have supported us uh, with this project and we work sort of on a monthly basis and uh, liaise and consult with with the town council uh, you know on an ever increasing um ever increasing basis and that really does develop the sort of the partnership that allows this the delivery of this project because as you can see there's a lot of activity there is disruption inevitably and, inevitably. and uh, as you can hear from a sound from a transport from a Absolutely. Well, so, so, so give, me, give me some of the headlines, that are, are the, the big things that are being done here then. So. so there'll be a refurbishment of the town centre, there'll be a new sort of public realm, so there'll be new footpaths, high quality materials, wider footpaths, we'll be resurfacing roads, we'll be looking at in, improving public realm furniture, so that's your benches, your bins, mm. uh, any sort of new trees and planting trees to give the town centre a lift. So it'll look more, um, it'll, it'll be totally refurbished, it'll support the local shift or economy, mm. it'll revitalise the town and make the town a more enjoyable place to, place to live. Also we'll be remodelling some of the immediate traffic junctions just to take a bit of congestion uh, off the town centre mm. and uh, to alleviate some of the pressures that additional traffic has caused. The town centre will, uh, we will sort of slant it a bit more to being a bit more pedestrian friendly yeah. so cars will still be able to come in but you'll have wider footpaths the pedestrians will feel uh, a bit more of a welcoming environment we'll be able to then uh, with the town council and the local traders in the future deliver activities such as christmas markets and fairs that yeah. would support it um, would support it a bit more because shifnal as a town has grown hugely, hasn't it, in the last 10, 15, 20 years. From a housing point of view, the number of residents based here, probably one of the fastest growing towns per head of population in Shropshire, isn't it? It certainly is, you know, and there's been significant, significant housing growth. And, you know, we've responded to that from the, the concerns that have been raised, the impact on the town, the town sort of infrastructure in order to, in order to cater for that. And it's worthwhile to note as well that the funding the, to um, deliver this project has all come from those, you know, housing development contributions. So, in technical terms, Section 106 and community infrastructure levy. How, what, what is the value of the work being done here? So, uh, the core value is 3.5 million, yeah, oh. and then we'll be doing some uh, ancillary works on that. So, it will creep up to more 4 million, which we've got covered from that. And it's, you know, it's probably important to note that that's not coming from Shropshire Council taxpayers' budgets, it's not coming from the highways' budgets, 
it's coming from the house, your contribution to the housing development, and it's there to reflect the impact that that's had on, on the town centre and to make uh, improvements and to make the town flow uh, uh, and, uh, and grow. And touching wood, um, it's all due to be finished when? We're looking uh, for the autumn, the autumn of this year. I keep saying next year, but it is definitely the, the yeah. autumn of 2022. And the work, you know, will be uh, progressing. We, we, we work exceedingly well with our contractors, our principal contractor, which is McPhillips. So another local Shropshire company. It so. is, it is. And um, we'll be providing that. And McPhillips as well support with community liaison and making sure that people are informed and and um, knowledgeable as to what's going on as we manage the disruption and that is the key phrase it's managed disruption yeah. as we try to sort of move uh, move this forward and i'm sure that when it's done and when people see the sort of the finished uh, uh, project and the quality of materials and the way it's sort of transformed the town then um, i'm sure there'll be a lot of positives yeah. Brilliant, Steve. Thanks for your time. You're a busy man. We'll come back and update ourselves a bit later on in the year when it's a bit warmer, I think. Absolutely. Think, it would be good. It would be good, Carl. Thank Thanks a lot. Much. Thank you. Cheers.